All right, guys, welcome to the channel, and today we are going to be talking about the infamous four valve 4.6 motor. But precisely what we're actually going to be talking about is the early model four valve motors that come with the Texas block that was made in Italy. So let's get into today's video. All right, so let's first start this thing off by explaining why we're actually gonna have a conversation or talk about the Texid uh, 4.6 block um, that was in the 93 to 98 and some 99 year models Lincoln Mark 8, also in the 96 to 98 Cobra and some models of the 99 Cobra came with a Texid block. And the first thing that you might wanna know about the block is that the crank and the block itself can handle a thousand horsepower from factory. The only two weak points in the 4 valve 4.6 motor is the rods and the pistons. And if you go to like um, any of those modular um, shops online, they actually sell a piston and a rod kit for about, I think you can get one for about 1500 bucks and those rods and pistons are diamond rods or any any good brand like manly uh diamond pistons and manly rods can handle upwards of 1500 horsepower in these blocks now i know i said that they can handle a thousand horsepower but people have been pushing them a thousand plus with the stock crank and the stock block and today i'm going to be talking about why that is and why so many people are still trying to find them um, the top reason behind me making this video is because I actually have a Gen 1 Lincoln Mark 8 motor inside this Mustang. And I still have the Gen 1 intake on it, Gen 1 heads, uh, everything that came with the Gen 1 is actually in this car. We're running it off of a um, Ron Francis wiring harness and a 2003 Marauder ECU. Now in the near future, when I turn around and I build this block, which means I'll do the pistons and rod upgrades, it, it should be good for over a thousand horsepower. And that's when I'm gonna be running a Holley Terminator X kit on it so that we can tune it to get all of the power out of it that we want. Cause I wanna be able to um, run this on the street with about six to 700 horsepower with uh, a single turbo and have it safe. So I don't wanna build a motor for 600 horsepower and then try to get 600 out of it because you'll break it that way so we'll build it for a thousand run it right around 650 700 but let's continue on talking about the texting block all right so like i was saying this is my 2000 mustang gt with a gen 1 uh lincoln mark 8 1994 motor in it this is the gen 1 intake gen 1 uh, fuel rail all it has is the uh, injectors from a 2003 mercury marauder uh, fuel pressure regulator it's running off of an ecu from a marauder marauder um, cam signal cam crank signal marauder uh, crank signal so a lot of the parts came from a marauder because like i said this was actually a marauder swap but I ended up having issues with the Marauder motor, which was the weaker block. Those blocks are only good for right around 600 horsepower, and that's on very good fuel. So with me running this on pump gas and not that good amount of pump gas, I'm gonna be building the bottom end, changing the pistons, changing the rods, uh, changing the compression in it, and then boosting it to get the most power possible out of it. But let's get back to talking about the Texig block. The main reason why these blocks were so strong is because Texid, that is actually a company out of Italy, actually makes Ferrari blocks uh, as well. So they're a very reputable company that make very, very good products. Now, um, Ford stopped making the Texid blocks or Texid stopped making the 4.6 four valve blocks, I believe in 2000, because the last time the Texid block came out was in, um, 99 because I guess they were too expensive then Ford started making what they call the WAP block and that's the block from uh, any year four valve from 2000 and up which is the weaker block you 
It's not a very good cranking nose, not good pistons, not good rods. Um, rods and pistons in this motor is weak as well, but at least the crank and the block can handle a thousand horsepower plus from factory. All right, so like I was saying, back at the topic at hand, you guys came here to this video to find out basically how to make that a thousand horsepower or how to build the motor or what all you're gonna need. And I'm gonna tell you right now that um, Texic did such an amazing job with the block that you don't even have to remove these main caps from the crank to build this motor. You literally pull out the pistons, pull out the rods, you install your 1000 horsepower or your 1500 horsepower pistons and rods. Uh, you torque them down, you put a, a head gasket kit on it and you bolt down your heads back down to the motor and you are good to go to run a thousand plus horsepower on these blocks so that is exactly what i'm going to be doing but my part list is going to look a bit different because i want to make sure this thing runs safe i'm going to get a upgraded oil pump pickup pickup tube and oil pan so that i don't have oil starvation when i'm drifting because this is a drift car i'm actually going to rebuild this entire chassis which means i'm going to strip it down to nothing fix all the rust holes fix all the problems with it clean it up, get it nice and pretty, uh, put coilovers in it, put suspension in it, um, suspension work like polyurethane bushings, uh, change out the front K-member for a tubular K-member and put a fully built 4-valve 4.6 motor in it and behind it will be a T, uh, TR3650 gearbox that probably won't handle all the power that it could but until it breaks that's what we're going to be running. So super simple to go in the junkyard, find yourself a Lincoln Mark 8 motor, because I know it's 10 times harder to find the 96 to 99 Cobra motor, and they are identical except for the intake cam um, on the heads, because you know there's the dual overhead cam. So the exhaust cam is the exact same cam in the uh, Lincoln Mark 8. The only difference is the intake cam, and it's super, super easy to buy yourself a pair of intake cams and rev these motors above seven i think it's around 7800 rpm there have been people that have changed the cams and changed the the valves and the springs and have revved this motor beyond 8300 rpm boosted so people have definitely pushed these motors and proven that they can do extremely well under pressure so um that's what we're going to be doing here we're going to be pistons rods oil pump oil pan I'm gonna be also C head swapping it. If you don't know what C head swapping is, uh, the 94 Lincoln Market motor I have, just to make it simple, has B heads and they're more restrictive. They respond well to boost, but they're more restrictive. So I'm gonna be swapping C heads on top of it and uh, running a turbo manifold and we're gonna be boosting this motor. So that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's really that simple to have a thousand plus horsepower motor. And um, I, got, I picked up my Lincoln Mark 8 motor for about 400 bucks on eBay. So let's say 400 bucks shipped to your door for a whole Lincoln Mark 8 motor, which is fairly cheap. And, I, and I, I'm super grateful that I found it on that deal because they usually don't go for that price. They go for way more because of the potential of the blocks. Um, but that was the price, 400 for that. You spend another $1,500 and you have an 1,000 horsepower plus motor. So for less than two grand, you can actually build an, an absolute beast of a motor because Texid made the block, they made, they put the crank in it that can handle over 1,000 horsepower and all you need to do is slap some pistons and rods in it and you're good to go. You can either shoot nitrous, you can do boost, you can go um, supercharge, anything you want to do. I've seen people put the Cobra cams on, on these motors and spin them to 8300 RPM with a higher compression piston, which is like 10 to one or something like that, which is high compression and run boost on it. So beat the absolute piss out of it. And I've seen no one so far that has had failure points with these motors. So um, I hope this information was valuable to you guys. Um, anywhere, you can just Google um, piston and rod combos and, and for the 4 valve 4.6 and many sites will come up with many different options all around 1500 bucks. You can actually get a kit that comes with your pistons, your rods, your rings and your 
uh, connecting rod bearings so that you just order one kit for about 1500 bucks you should get it shipped to your door and you're having a thousand plus horsepower motor but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one